The Puritans were being persecuted for wanting to reform the Church of England and purify it of what they saw as corrupting elements and practices of the Catholic faith. Facing arrest and imprisonment if they stayed in England, they fled to the Massachusetts coast in 1630 to start their own colony. The Puritans bought out Blackstone and laid claim to hundreds of more acres along the Charles River to build their new town. They named it Boston, after the place they'd left behind in England. But while the Puritans had come seeking religious liberty for themselves, they actively opposed others with different religious ideas. With no separation of church and state, they felt it was their right to persecute and prosecute anyone they deemed a threat to their new colony. They were even willing to put to death a young woman who disobeyed. For nearly half a century after they arrived on the Massachusetts coast, the Puritans ruled Boston with an iron fist. And it was the Quakers who received most of the Puritans' wrath. The Quaker belief that one could have a direct personal relationship with God was threatening to the Puritans, and they became fearful that Quaker ideas would lead to civil unrest. When a Quaker named Mary Dyer arrived in Boston in 1657 to preach, she was arrested and banished from the Massachusetts Bay Colony. But after Dyer repeatedly defied the order, she was captured and brought to Boston Common. On the morning of June 1st, 1660, she was hanged from a tree that stood here, right in the middle of the common. Dyer was one of four Quakers executed because of their religious beliefs. They are known as the Boston Martyrs. Their killings mark one of the darkest periods in Boston history. But by the 1680s, strict Puritan ideas had started to fade, and over time, new generations of Bostonians became more accepting of other religious faiths. 